Welcome to Harmony Haven, your go-to destination for fitness, workouts and health tips. We're passionate about promoting a lifestyle of health and well-being. Our channel is bursting with a plethora of videos that guide you through different workouts, fitness routines and invaluable health tips. We believe in the power of knowledge and strive to make it accessible for all. So, whether you're a seasoned fitness enthusiast or a beginner, there's always something for you here. Today, we delve into the world of yoga, specifically the mountain pose or tadasana. Mountain pose, known as tadasana in Sanskrit, is a foundational yoga pose. Often seen as a starting point for many other poses, tadasana is much more than just standing. It's about grounding yourself, finding your center and connecting with the earth. It's the bedrock upon which many yoga practices are built. The benefits of tadasana are numerous. It improves posture, bringing awareness to the body's alignment and encouraging a straight, strong spine. It strengthens your thighs, knees and ankles, fostering stability and balance. Plus, it's a great pose for combating flat feet, as it encourages you to distribute your weight evenly across both feet. But Tadasana isn't just about physical benefits. It also promotes mental calmness and clarity. By standing tall and steady, you embody the strength and tranquility of a mountain, helping you cultivate a sense of inner peace. Now get ready as we guide you through the process of achieving the perfect Tadasana. To begin with, stand tall and straight on your yoga mat. Just like a majestic mountain, you are strong, solid and immovable. To start, place your feet hip width apart. This is the foundation of your mountain, providing you with stability and balance. Think of your feet as the roots of your mountain, grounding you to the earth. Now, let's awaken your feet. Lift your toes off the mat, spread them wide, and then gently place them back onto the mat. This action helps to evenly distribute your weight across the entirety of your feet and not just on the heels or the balls of your feet. Next, imagine the four corners of each foot, the big toe mound, the little toe mound, and the inner and outer heels. Try to ground down through all four corners, evenly distributing your weight. This might feel a bit challenging at first, but with practice, it will become second nature. As you ground down, you might notice a subtle lifting in your arches. This is perfectly normal and is, in fact, a sign that you're doing it right. This lifting, known as lifting the arches, provides a natural cushioning for your feet and can help prevent foot and leg discomfort. Now, let's focus on the rest of your legs. Engage your thighs, lifting your kneecaps slightly. This will help to straighten your legs without locking your knees. It's all about creating a balance between strength and flexibility. Finally, try to align your body in such a way that your ankles, knees, hips and shoulders are all in one straight line. This alignment is essential in Tadasana as it helps to improve your posture and balance. Remember, every mountain is unique and so is every mountain pose. Your Tadasana might not look exactly like someone else's and that's perfectly okay. What's important is that you're feeling strong, grounded and balanced. Now that your feet are firmly planted, let's move on to the next steps. Just like a mountain, you are ready to stand tall and proud, no matter the weather. With your feet grounded, now focus on your upper body. As you continue your journey into the mountain pose, or Tadasana, it's time to bring your attention upwards. Starting from your waist, draw your belly in towards your spine. This action is subtle but significant. It's not about sucking in your stomach or holding your breath. Instead, it's a gentle engagement of your core muscles, a slight inward pull that helps stabilize your lower back and maintain the integrity of the pose. Next, lift your chest but ensure you're not puffing it out excessively or arching your lower back. Imagine a string attached to the crown of your head gently pulling you upwards. This image can help create that sensation of lift in your chest without straining your back. Now, let's talk about your shoulders. They should be relaxed and drawn back slightly. Avoid hunching or tensing them up toward your ears. Instead, let them fall naturally, creating a broad and open chest. 
moving up to your neck, ensure it's straight and aligned with your spine. Your head should sit directly above your neck, not jutting forward or leaning back. Picture your neck as a continuation of your spine, reaching all the way up to the crown of your head. Lastly, soften your facial muscles and gaze forward. The mountain pose is not just a physical stance, but also a mental one. It embodies strength, stability, and serenity, all of which are reflected in your facial expression and gaze. Remember, Tadasana is about alignment and balance. It's about grounding your feet while reaching for the sky, about engaging your muscles without creating tension. It's a pose that cultivates awareness and presence, that teaches you to stand tall and firm, just like a mountain. As you hold the pose, breathe deeply and evenly. Feel the energy flowing through your body from your rooted feet to your lifted crown. Tune into the subtle movements and sensations, the rise and fall of your chest with each breath, the gentle engagement of your core. You're almost there, just a few more steps to perfect your Tadasana. Now let's bring it all together. With your feet firmly grounded and your spine erect, you're already halfway up the mountain that is Tadasana. Let's go for the summit. Gently raise your arms skyward as though reaching for the sun. Your palms should face each other, mirroring the symmetry of your stance. Picture yourself as a tree, your arms the branches, reaching out towards the light. Keep your elbows soft, not locked. This isn't about strain or struggle. This is about finding your personal apex, the point where you are stretched but not straining. As you lift your arms, remember to keep your shoulders relaxed. They should not bunch up towards your ears. Instead, let them gently roll back, opening your chest. Feel the space you're creating within yourself, the room for deep, enriching breaths. Speaking of breaths, let's not forget about them. As you settle into the pose, turn your focus inward to your breath. Take a deep breath in, filling your lungs, and then exhale slowly, fully. Each breath is an affirmation of your presence in the moment, your connection to the world around you. Continue this cycle of deep, steady breaths. With each inhalation, feel the strength in your stance, the stability in your core. With each exhalation, release any tension, any doubts. You are strong, you are grounded, you are balanced. Hold this pose for a few moments, bathing in the tranquility it brings. Notice the sensation of your feet anchoring you to the earth, your arms reaching out towards the sky, and your breath steady and calm. And now, as gently as you lifted them, lower your arms back to your sides. Feel the descent from the summit of your pose, the gentle landing back to your starting point. Congratulations, you've just completed the mountain pose, or Tadasana. You've scaled the heights of this pose and stood firm, just like a mountain. And remember, every mountain climbed makes the next one just a little bit easier. So, keep practicing, keep reaching, and keep breathing. While Tadasana can be beneficial, it's important to practice it safely. This pose, like any other, requires attention and respect for your body. Let's delve into some safety measures and tips to ensure you get the most out of your mountain pose. Firstly, if you're experiencing a headache or suffering from insomnia, it's best to avoid Tadasana. These conditions can be exacerbated by standing poses. So, it's wise to choose a more relaxing pose instead. Similarly, if you have low blood pressure, you should consult your doctor before starting Tadasana. While yoga can be a great way to manage and improve your health, it's essential to ensure that it doesn't inadvertently cause harm. When practicing Tadasana, make sure your weight is evenly distributed across both feet. Don't lock your knees or hold your breath. These are common mistakes that can lead to strain or injury. Remember to keep your body relaxed and your breathing steady. It's also worth noting that balance can be tricky in Tadasana, especially for beginners. Don't be discouraged if you find it challenging at first. You might find it helpful to practice near a wall to provide stability as you build your balance and strength. Listening to your body is perhaps the most important safety measure. If something doesn't feel right, it probably isn't. Modify the pose to suit your needs or take a break if necessary. 
Remember, yoga is about harmony, not harm. Listen to your body. That concludes our guide to mountain pose or tadasana. This simple yet powerful pose is your foundation to a healthier, fitter self. Incorporating tadasana into your daily routine can improve posture, increase strength, and enhance body awareness. The beauty of this pose is its simplicity. It's easy to learn, easy to do, and easy to incorporate into your everyday life. Remember, the journey to fitness isn't about drastic changes, but about small, consistent efforts. The mountain pose is a perfect example of this. It might seem like a small step, but it can lead to big changes in your overall health and well-being. So why not give it a try? Stand tall, breathe deep, and embrace the power of Tadasana. Enjoyed the video? Then give us a thumbs up, share the video with your friends, and don't forget to comment below. Subscribe to Harmony Haven for more fitness, workout, and health tips. Stay fit, stay healthy.